Alright, every viewer? It's about that time. Oh, it's Christmas time. You guys ready? My little pony special, baby. When you start off on My Little Pony episode with a song, you know it's gonna be a good episode, baby. <laughs> oh, it'll be alright, Rarity. Presents for every pony! Even you. Oh, Derp, get off the tree. You're not the star. Uh -oh. Hey, Starlight. Ready to celebrate your first heartwarming eve here in Ponyville? So about this being a good episode. I, I might just skip it. Thank you. Thank you, girl. I appreciate that, Pony. I had every pony. You heard her. It all a little silly. It's mostly a day dedicated to presents and candy, isn't it? Yeah, it's not your thing. Why would you deny yourself presents and candy? That's crazy talk! Because she doesn't deserve I it, maybe? I think what Spike means to say is, heart swarming is about more than presents and candy. It's a time to spend with friends and family when we celebrate a very important day in Equestria's history. So, in other words... For most ponies, it's just an excuse for silly songs and fun. Not a day to remember some old story. It shouldn't involve you. Maybe you just haven't heard the right heart swarming Twy? yet. Twy, stop pushing this. If she wants to skip it, fight back an eternal winter. Let her skip it. Windigos. <laughs> Every foal in Philly knows that story. Not that one. My favorite holiday story. A heart swarming tale. Oh, I love that one. This is the story of a powerful unicorn named Snowfall Frost who hated heart swarming Eve. It all began many moons ago in Canterlot. Everybody get a story, people! Every home in Canterlot was filled with holiday spirit. Every home, except one. It was said of Snowfall that she was almost as studied as Star Swirl the Bearded. Almost, since every pony knows that Star Swirl was an expert at everything from transfiguration, dimensional calibration, teleportation. We, we get it. Star Swirl's awesome. Yeah. Right. The point is, Snowfall was also a powerful unicorn. She wanted to be perfect. Anything that got in the way of that was a waste of time. Ah. Well, that batch is ruined. Snow Dash! Snow Dash was Snowfall's loyal assistant. Huh. What do you need? Get this mess oh my. up. Those foolish ponies were ringing those blasted bells outside the window, and I lost my concentration. Oh, my lord. Ponies actually enjoying hearts warming Eve. Where did they get that crazy idea? Today is <laughs> what did they do to you, Dash? Hearts warming Eve is a menace. A dangerous day for all of Equestria. Dangerous? It's awesome. It's the day we remember how unicorns, Pegasi, and Earth ponies came together in friendship to defeat the Windigos. That silly legend is the problem. Telling every pony that singing songs and being nice will solve anything. I've spent years studying magic, and that's not how it works. I think you might be missing the point. Work hard, learn, and use your skills to better Equestria. That's a worthy goal for any pony. But oh, by boy. All means, if you want to go home early, ignore all of the work you have and spend the rest. <laughs> That's just gone, we man. Hate heart swarming Eve. All of Equestria would be better off if we just skipped the day altogether. All you gotta do is enslave every pony and make them do what you want. Street. Happy heart swarming. No, you won't to. They're so sweet. Words 
said so often that they lack any meaning. Why should I join in when I could be intervening? Every pony loves this cursed holiday, but would they be better off with it out of the way? Ah, uh, here she goes again. The same thing all over again, people. Goodbye to the holiday with my magic alley race it. The greatest gift that I give today, and every pony will have to face it. Of course. We all know you make every pony face what you want them to face, right? I know this isn't supposed to be Starlight, but it's pretty much Starlight. Let's be honest, people! Goodbye, hearts warming. It's over, you're done. Finally set free from your forced celebrations. No need to reply to your trite invitations. Calendar shorter by a single day. Is my magic up to the test? Time to see I can't delay. There she goes. Even when she's playing another character, she can't help herself. Holiday, prepare the spell, no hesitation. All memory shall fade away. See a questry of new transformation. No more shall any pony say. Happy hearts warming. <laughs> oh, you're a bad pony! Bad pony! Oh, naughty pony. Look at that look, people. Oh, look at it. It's so dark. Literally. <laughs> Once the spell is cast, all of Equestria will be better off. And they'll have me to thank for it. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Snowfall doesn't like Hearthswarming Eve, so she decides to cast a spell to get rid of it altogether? That seems a little extreme. Oh, oh, oh please! You try to make every pony the same by replacing their cutie marks with equal signs. Thank you, Spike. I think. No, let him talk. What I'm trying to say is that every pony he... has their reasons for doing things, even Snowfall. And if I could continue, and Starlight, story, we might just find out what they are. Proceed. See me and Spike, we're on the same page here. Spell that would erase Heartswarming Eve for all time. When a voice from the hearth caught her attention. You sure you want to go through with this? Huh, who's there? The spirit of hearts warm and past. That's uh huh. Right. And you and me have got to have us a little chat. A spirit? I didn't cast any spirit summoning spell. What are you doing here? You don't think a spell like that would get by without some powerful forces noticing? You've got our attention, Snowball <laughs> Frost. And we've got some pretty strong opinions on this spell of yours. We? They'll be along in a bit. Uh-huh, I bet. It's just you and me. Let's get a move on. We got a ton to see and barely any time to see it. I'm not going anywhere. I've got a spell to cast, and I don't need a history lesson about Hearth's Warming Eve. We aren't going to the past to learn about the holiday. We're going to learn about you. Uh-huh, let's... Let's not. I know enough about that pony. As a young thing, life sure is something. You go making choices large and small. Always growing like a seedling and playing this like dreaming. And before you know it, big and tall. Oh, look at you go, Apple. And every little bit of choice you make. Uh, oh, look how cute you were. Look, look at those fillies. Said it's hard for an Eve either. The seeds of the past, they grow pretty fast. Just look at who you were back then. The seeds as they grow, look what they can show. Reveal the truth time and Just what do you think you're doing, Snowfall? Decorating the classroom for Hearthswarming Eve, Professor Flintheart. 
You said you wanted to learn to be a powerful unicorn, did you not? I do! And what is the way that one becomes a powerful unicorn? <clears throat> Work hard, learn, and use your skills to better Equestria. Or take over? That's, that's the question. And how do these help you, know? you to learn magic? Close enough, huh? I want to be strong enough to stop Wendigos and help ponies. That's just a story we tell little ponies. Real magic takes time to learn. It's your choice. Spend your time learning to become a powerful unicorn, or play with your toys and make nothing of yourself. Then some distress, words so careless, standing there you don't know what to do. Feeling helpless, you can't make it hurt less, so you go and change your point of view. And in that moment, though you didn't know it, your defense is set up walls you built to last. Leading to the pony you become today. We grow up so fast, some hurts never go away. Ah, you cry a lot now. As they grow, this we can't let go. I'll tie to this one holiday. I'm liking the music though. I will say that much. I am. Spirit? What am I supposed to Time for another spirit pa pa pinky spit! Oh yeah. Present like the time. No, Toys she means yeah. Fine <laughs> presents. Look who you're asking. All of the pointless things that ponies waste their time on. Oh, Snowball, it's not what the gift is that matters. It's what the gift means. It doesn't mean anything. It's just stuff. Exactly. Sometimes a cupcake means I love you, or a toy means hi, how you doing, and sometimes a book means your mane looks amazing, and sometimes a scarf means well. Usually means you look cold. That one's easy. I don't understand anything uh, you're saying. I love every version of pink. Uh oh, pinky sense. My spirit of heart's warming present sense is going off. Okay, we that call it that. Means the song is coming uh, another song, people. A pinky song. You're adorable. Favorite song so far. <laughs> you were singing it for You're doing your pinky pie voice, right? Yeah. yeah. It was not. That was kind of cute. <laughs> so. Kind of want to rewind that. What happens next? Well, the party was. Wait. Can we take a quick break? I need to refill my cocoa. I didn't know Twy had a pinky pie voice. Seem pointless. 
was it? No dash. Hey, Mary. Why, whatever is the matter, darling? Was it the eggnog? Oh, I knew I put in too much cinnamon. No, it wasn't. No, the Flutter. Was awesome, Flutter Holly. I'm just mad at some <laughs> Flutter Holly. Complaining about how awful heartwarming Eve is. I don't suppose that pony's name starts with snow. It and does. With frost. It she does. Said heartwarming Eve is just an excuse to party, and we would all be better off spending time working to make Equestria a better place. Boo! Boo indeed. What does Snowfall think a better Equestria looks like? Ponies working hard, learning, and, and enslaved. Abilities for the benefit of Equestria. <laughs> the benefit of her. It looks like we've got everything on Snowfall's list right here. I think a perfect equestrian looks a lot like a horse one knee party. I agree, Flutter. It's my Flutter Butter. Me too. There you go crying again. Look at Pit Piggy backing over for dramatic effects. I know you're still right there behind that fog. Stop it. Then again, knowing you, you could be anywhere right now. One more. Who are you? I am the spirit of hearts warming yet to come. Are you here to show me what future hearts warming yep. are like? No. There what? There are no more hearts warming ah. for me to show. Why not? Because of you, pony. You succeed in erasing the holiday as you wished. Ah! Luna! You backing up a little bit, okay? <laughs> Tell that pony Luna. Or whatever your name is in this story. Mean for anything to happen. And then all was forgiven. At least here it didn't actually happen. It was just, you know, she's getting ready to do it, but she didn't do it. So I guess this is forgivable. Snowfall Frost? I was hoping I wasn't too late for the party. I brought gifts. I was wrong earlier about hearts warming Eve. It's not all about singing and presents. The singing and presents are all about celebrating the ponies in our lives. The ponies we should listen to more often. Our friends. Wow. Dragon toenail. Uh, thanks. I was in a hurry. I'll do better next time. <laughs> you kidding? Ever given me dragon toenail before? It's awesome! Probably because it's a dragon toenail, Dash. And from then on, it was always said of all the hearts warming Eve celebrations, Snowfalls was the hearts warming. The end. Lovely well, story, Twy. Thanks for letting me read you the story. Guess you can call it a night. Spike and I are heading downstairs, and if you wanted to, you'd be welcome to join us. To the party. Happy Heartswarming, Starlight. Happy Heartswarming, Twilight. 
Hearts warming, Eve is filled with presents. Some take you by surprise. <sighs> A story shared by your good friends that makes your spirits rise. Sometimes you just let go of the past. Enjoy the present. Not, not me! You still up there, dirt? Really? Now it's time to celebrate. Heart's warming, Eve is here once again. All together, feeling great. Heart's warming, Eve is here once again. Can't hardly wait. We'll party till late. Our favorite date. Look at those. Oh, most of my favorite ponies right there, people. Even Spike. I love my ponies. Love my ponies, people. Minus one. That was pretty good, all things considered. A lot of songs. More songs than we normally would get. It clearly was a musical, you know, classic story told. You know, what a, you know. You guys know the story. Basically, it was Starlight Story. You know, was, except this pony didn't actually go through with the plan, so it was more forgivable, I guess. But anyways, you know, I guess until next Saturday, people. Until next time.